Shalom. This is Taza Doctor in the GMS Los Angeles camp. Come back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Wachakadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole flag Akim that's pushing this word of truth sincerity. And to the speckled bird Akim throughout the four corners of the earth teaching his truth. Sincere brothers who's teaching his truth, man, all in one accord and speaking the same thing. So, um, I saw this picture and everything. It was a beautiful picture. I don't know who drew it. You know, um, if anybody know, just let me know. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, portrait of what I see. So, what do what do you see when you see this picture? I turn to the to the brothers and the sisters that's um, worshiping Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. What do you see in this picture? So, it could be a quick lesson. You know, you know that picture moved me. I feel like getting that done. And put it as a portrait, you know, in, in, in the house. So, a few scriptures come to mind, okay? So, let's start it up. So, I'll, let me get um, Sirach, the second chapter. Now, you know what? Let's, let's get out the main one. This is the one I had in hand, all right? So, this is John, the 10th chapter, verse 28. And it reads... And I give and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Never shall any man pluck them out of my hand. See, this is the this is the, the scripture I had in my mind when I saw this picture. And what 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 does it mean? He give unto them eternal life. He's talking about the elect, okay? The remnant, the elect. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about the elect. All right. This is this is the scripture that came to my head first. Was this? John 10 and 28 They shall never perish Never shall any man Pluck them out of my hand Nobody's going Why? Because these are the first fruits man This is the elect Who the Lord is speaking about man Okay So let's get the next scripture This is um Sirach The second chapter Um 17 Let me get it out 17 Verse 17, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Sirach 2, verse 17, and it reads, Let us see if his words be true. All right? Oh, hold on, hold on. Salak, you on that. Got the wrong one. I should have read it anyway, but I want to stay on course with this subject, okay? Here's Sirach, the second chapter of the book of Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, verse 17. They that fear the Lord will pair their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is so, so is his mercy. Yeah, because the Lord always made that promise, man. You know, um, he always going to reserve that elect, man. He will reserve a, com a, com a, perfect, uh, a complete amount of men. All right. And women don't don't get hey, don't get it twisted. There's some woman that's of the elect, man. Okay, all right. How, the, how else we gonna bring back Israel, huh? <laughs> all right then. Okay, so let's get the next scripture. This is Romans, the eleventh chapter, verse four. All right. That's what it's all about. This is what the picture I seen, and these scriptures come to my head, man. You know this though, that hand represents Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? And, and those people on his hand is, it represents the elect, all right? None, none's going to pluck them out of his hand, man. No enemies, nobody, okay? Not this B system, nobody, all right? Okay, so, shit. The ones that's in hand could be one of those battle axes, weapons of war. Those, those mighty men, all right? So this is Romans the 11th from chapter, verse 4, all right? But what said the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. I mean, a complete amount of men. Talking about the 144,000. All right? Seven means completion. Okay? To myself, 7,000 men who have not bowed to the knee to the image of Baal. He's talking about the elect that's not going to bow down to the image of this beast right now. Okay? That's not going to sell out. It's not going to sell. It's not going to sell out and throw the Most High under the bus. 
These are loyal men, warriors, spiritual warriors of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Do you get my drift? Those men that's in his hand, those are the reserved men that the Lord reserved, the elect. That's what we're talking about. Okay? Let's get the next scripture. This is Revelation, the 14th chapter, verse 4. All right? It's a quick lesson. I guess, you know, just give you my thoughts of this portrait. It's a beautiful portrait. I got to find out who made this. All right? Revelation 14, verse 4. These are they. You know what? Let's start verse 3. And they sung if there were a new song before the throne, before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn the song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. The elect. Okay, what's that song? This knowledge that's spoken, that's taught the right way. Speak, singing the song in, in, in one tune. Everybody doing the same tune. Everybody. Nobody's off tune. Nobody's off bass. Okay? Only the elect is going to know this song, which is this knowledge. All right? Verse 4. These are they which are not defiled with women. What does it mean, defiled with women? Okay? What does it mean by that? It ain't talking about no um, woman with a fat ass and big titties, man. And, and, you know, getting caught up under them. No. The woman's talking about other philosophies, all right? That's what it's talking about. You know, such as wine meaning other philosophies. Women, in plural, meaning other philosophies. Okay? They're not defiled. They're not tainted. All right? For they are virgins, meaning what? They are untouched. They're not, uh, they, they're not touched by these other philosophies. Why? Because those elect men, the elect, is not gonna, is not gonna bow down to the image of, of this beast, man. Okay, they're not gonna they're not gonna sell out. These are honorable and with with integrity warriors, spiritual warriors, right? For they are virgins, meaning they untouched. These are they which follow the Lamb. Who's the Lamb? It's talking about Yahweh Shai. What you gonna see in the next picture that's coming up on the frame soon? It should come like in a couple of seconds. These are they which follow the Lamb. Which is Yahweh Shai, whatsoever he goeth. These were redeemed, meaning buy back, from among men being the first fruits. Who's the first fruits? Those are the ones that helped create the earth, the, the galaxy, universe, everything in here. Those are the first fruits. All right? It's talking about the elect. Whatsoever he goeth, these were redeemed from among men. Being the first fruits unto the Most High and unto the Lamb, that Lamb's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that's who was talking about. Let's get another scripture, all right? And Lord willing, all of us brothers is, is on is is in the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we're those men. That's why this picture moved me, man, to do a video. Okay, um, this is. Zechariah 13 chapter verse 8 And it reads And it shall come to pass in all the land Which said, which said Lord Two parts therein shall be cut off and die So those two parts represent The children of Israel So called Negro Latino Native Americans the, the wicked ones of our people man Two thirds meaning 66.6% are going to die here in America, man. And throughout the four corners of earth. But mostly here in Babylon the Great. Alright? Verse 8. And it shall come to pass in all in the land, said the Lord, two parts shall cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. That third is talking about the elect. Those are the ones who will be left therein. Those are the ones who will be saved by the said pearls. By the said pearls. Those are the ones that's going to be in the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Those are going to be under the fetters of iron, according to Psalm 90, 91. The elect. Those are going to be the first governing bodies of the of the of the new earth and, and the new heaven. So I just want to do a quick lesson on that. You know, it was a beautiful picture. Um, I, I got to find out who did it, man. I, I really want it. <laughs> But anyways, I hope your brothers and sisters were edified. You know, just keep, stay prayed up. Stay, pray, stay prayed up. 
Always stay prayed up. Worship Yahweh Bashmasha with all your spirit, man. Time is on. Time is close. Time is close to then. Shalom.